I am gonna demonstrate you a very special feature of the LED spice that you may find very useful when you are designing a circuit and you want to simulate your circuit using some real signal. Yes, that the feature uh, that LED spice has that you can import the audio file or audio data from your audio file into the LED spice module and you can use that data to simulate your device or the circuit that you have designed on the LED spice platform and finally you can take the output and you can save the output as the another audio file. So welcome to all these uh, lectures on electronics and optics and stay tuned till the end of this video if you find this video is helpful for you and please like, share and subscribe. This particular feature is very much helpful when you are planning to design some audio amplifier that I am uh, planning for right now. Uh, this is the first part of the audio amplifier and before starting the audio amplifier, I want to demonstrate you how we can import some real audio signal and how we can process the real, or real audio signal and we can save that audio signal, the process audio signal as the uh, new audio files. So that's the feature I'm going to discuss over here. So as you can see in this non-inverting configuration of the operational amplifier, the input voltage is applied to its non-inverting terminal and uh, due to the presence of these 2 kilo ohm resistance and 1 kilo ohm resistance, the overall gain, the closed loop gain uh, is being offered by the operational amplifier is 3. Because we know for an, uh, for a non-inverting configuration, uh, the, uh, the gain it becomes 1 plus R1 divided by R2 and R1 is 2 kilo ohm, R2 is 1 kilo ohm, so obviously the gain will be 3. Now, the main part, how you can import the audio file that you have saved somewhere in the same directory where uh, you are saving your project of the LD spy. So here I have saved this WAV file, this lataji.wav. So this is an audio clip from lataji, uh, from a song of lataji. So that the, the clip I have saved on the same folder where I have saved uh, my uh, my project of this LD spice. And there I am using this voltage source and here when you want to import your audio file that you have saved in the same directory so you just need to click control and right click on the voltage source once you have seen the uh, that that hand symbol as you can see right now now pressing control this, this such kind of window will appear and here you need to change only this value this value here i have changed this uh web file is equals to lataji.wav okay so this is the command the web file is equals to lataji.wav and if you have your own file audio file you can change according to that okay so now i'm saving it and in a similar way as you are importing your audio file to process using your device that you have designed that audio file after being processed you can save or you can export as a new audio file that i have saved over here using this particular command and this command you can initialize through the spice directive over here so go to over dot op and here you need to write this command where dot wave is that command to uh, to save your file that you are uh, you want to save and within this quotation the lataji amplified 2 dot web this is the file name that i am to save and this file name will be saved in the same directory where the project is saved otherwise if you want to save in a different directory you have to provide the the entire uh, path name followed by the file name that i have used over here you can use your own file for that. This 16 represents the sine 16 bit encoder or basically the normalizations uh, uh, which you have to do prior to save the audio file in terms of the or uh, as a wave file. And a detailed discussion on this particular encoding system I have discussed on my last video. If you are interested to watch uh, the details of this encoding scheme regarding the WAV file, I will suggest you to please go through that video. As well as you can click on the card and that will direct you directly to that particular video. Anyway, next is the sampling rate. So here I am using 48 kilohertz as a sampling rate. You can use 44.1 kilohertz. That is also a standard sampling rate for the audio file. But here uh, I'm using 48 kilohertz. Next one is the voltage that you want to save as the audio file. So here I'm using this V0, this voltage I'm to save as the audio file. So V stands for the voltage of V0. So that's why such kind of 
expression is appearing over here. Now I'm going to simulate that, that thing. So as I'm simulating over it over here, and if I, uh, first of all, I'm, I'm going to check this input file. Look at here. This is the speed that is showing over here. So 60 point something millisecond per second. So this is a speed. And with that speed, the simulation is being processed and the simulation will continue up to three seconds. So dot tran three represents three seconds simulation I'm, uh, I'm doing. Why? Because uh, my audio file is of two millisecond, a uh, slightly greater than the two milliseconds. So uh, you know, to keep it a bit larger, I put it over here, uh, three milliseconds. But if you wish to keep it at two milliseconds, you can keep it or you can keep it uh, according to your choice. So look at here. So this is the audio file, actual audio data exists. So up to around 1.8 or something over, over here, less than 2.1 millisecond. And rest of it is uh, zero voltage or there is nothing. So that's why this imported file is showing nothing uh, after that. Anyway, and this is right now I'm going to click on the output voltage. So that will be three times amplified version of the input voltage. Look at here. So it is amplified three times uh, of the input signal, okay? And that three times amplified voltage is saved uh, using this name and that I'm going to play over here. Well, so this is the original file. I'm going to play the original file first and you'll find that this file, the second file amplified two will be louder than this one. You heard it? So this is the first original file and now the second one, the amplified one. <laughs> Clearly the file is amplified and this thing is done on the LD Spice platform. But although this is a kind of amplification, but this is not an audio amplifier. Yeah, it's not true that it's not an audio amplifier. It's an audio amplifier, but uh, it cannot drive, this audio amplifier cannot drive uh, a speaker. So it has an amplitude, maximum amplitude is 1.123 volt. So such a small amplitude can drive a smaller speaker, but if you want to drive, or if you want to listen this sound over a, over a larger audio amplifier, then such kind of maximum voltage, such kind of uh, audio signal is not enough to drive that kind of that, a larger amplifier or larger uh, speakers. So for that, you need some output drivers. So in general, we use the class AV amplifiers as those output drivers. So in my next tutorial, I will show you how can you design the output stage for the, for the audio amplifiers. So till then, stay tuned with my channel. And I hope you have enjoyed this video. And if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. Until then, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you for being with me.